Here we are at the beach that is located near the quarry and Doncaster station. It doesn't look like a very good place to rest. These traces were made by a carriage. Look. The vehicle pressed this stone into the ground. It would have been quite heavy. The distance between the tracks is about six feet, seven inches. The vehicle would have been heavy as these tracks are quite deep. These traces are relatively fresh and were made by a large truck loaded with materials. The traces found at the disassembled shed near Evesham and at the lake were from the same vehicle. This place was abandoned fairly recently. Observing the coastline and the moored boats, we are able to see that the lake's water level dropped. The lake has flooded the quarry. The dam was probably breached. label with the name Las Zarpas. advertisement for lake cruises. An abandoned gypsy caravan. Holmes, I don't understand. Why do you care so much about this business with the mines?
You'll find nothing interesting here, I'm afraid. Railway post bags. This post bag belongs to the station master. The station master appears to have found himself in some financial trouble. Then the case is solved, Holmes. What do you intend to do? Well, I shall require assistance for the arrests. There were accomplices. Ah, but I know that look. You have your own ideas. What are they, Holmes? On the one hand, we have Mycroft and his tedious political games. He will locate the guilty parties without any trouble. But it will be a long and drawn-out process and possibly with some compromise that will be to Mycroft's benefit. Our other option is the local constabulary, and advice from our friend Lestrade. The problem we have there is that the authorities seem to be incapable of acting quietly. They rely on brute force. It could result in an international scandal. All the same, I think that I prefer the forces methods. It would be better to resolve the case quickly and efficiently without any talk of politics. Let us go home, then. I'd like to begin writing a draft of this story. No, I did not say that we had finished here yet. Well, all right. What did I miss? Watson, we know that the Barcazas Company directors were trapped under the collapsed mines, along with the train and Robinson's prototype. But we still need to corner the guilty party. But how do you intend to prove... Oh, no. Please, don't tell me we have to dig out the mines. Huh. You may rest assured that I have a far better idea. We have only to use our corrupt Doncaster Station Master as bait. He will unwittingly trap our Mexican friend. Of course, you already had a plan. I shall follow you, Holmes. Well, the case is solved, and we shall be heading home. May we have two tickets to London, please? Right away, what? Wait, wait a minute. You've solved the case? In a manner of speaking, can you believe that the rescue service miraculously saved one of the Chileans who were on board the train? 
The police have ordered his immediate escort to London on the next train. He pulled through, then? He's alive? Yes, by extreme good fortune. His condition is quite serious, and the method of transportation has its risk, but he will be held securely by the doctor and police officers. The gentleman carries some vital information on this case. I am sure of it. Ah, really? Your station will be famous, Mr. Duff. The journalists will be here before you know it. Goodbye, sir. Good goodbye, gentlemen. Gentlemen, you are under arrest. Caramba! You traitor! You double-crossed me! What a terrible ending to such a great case. There, there, my dear fellow. It is all right. You did your best. 